here we have an example of uh, tools and resources which I posted for students to help them complete tasks for an assignment. Uh, it's a combination of a few different things. Firstly, I'm really passionate about getting students in touch with resources that already exist. So here's an example of an embedded YouTube video which was uh, 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 posted by uh, a commercial online database, in this case uh, Westlaw Next Canada. I did not create this video myself, but you know, since it's on YouTube, might as well embed it because it is very relevant and uh, provides that extra uh, form of delivery for those students who are a little bit more visual. Uh, that being said, providing written resources is a great way to efficiently deliver content to students. So students may be able to read through uh, this uh, handout, uh, custom handout, uh, very quickly compared to watching the video. And so this might actually be a, a quicker form of delivery. Uh, that being said, it's up to the student. Once they get to this page, they can decide, do they want to watch the video? Do they want to read the handout portion? Uh, Whatever is more efficient for them, uh, you know, the tools are there so they can pick uh, the approach that works best for them in terms of uh, delivery content. Here's another example of a handout combined with uh, other uh, existing resources. So the handout is something that I created um, to sort of give students those visual cues on how to use a, a free online database. Now, of course, because it's free, it doesn't have all the online videos and tutorials that a commercial database would have. That being said, uh, because I stay connected to the industry through, uh, well, continuing practice in the industry, but also staying connected through uh, things like newsletters and social media, uh, I, uh, I got wind of this excellent video by the Saskatchewan uh, Law Society uh, Library, which provides some instruction on how to use Canly. And because it's on Vimeo and, and they've enabled embedding, uh, I was able to add that video to this learning module as well. Uh, so there's a, great, uh, there's a great resource, not by Canly itself, not by the database itself, but uh, by other uh, third-party um, instructors and teachers who are uh, really enthusiastic about this stuff as well. So great to share resources online and through social media. So this online learning module has been a great tool for a few reasons. I try to keep it as updated as possible uh, and again organized by topic and if there's ever a point in the course content where I need to refer back to this I can just post a course uh, or a link to the learning module within the weekly course content to bring the students to the relevant section of the learning module uh, as needed so it's a great time saver as well for me because then I don't need to uh, repost the same content over and over again as it becomes relevant